This is for the Millwright non-destructive testing portion of the lab where we do a demo for how to do a dye penetrant test and also a mag particle test. So we're going to start with a mag particle test here. We have our piece of steel we're going to be testing, the yoke, magnetic yoke we're going to be using, and the iron filing powder we're going to use as well. The iron powder has a bit of a tint to it. It looks pinky. It's very small designed to stick to the metal and show the flaws. To start, we're going to take our magnetic yoke, ensure it's in the correct setting for what we're trying to use, alternating or direct current. We have our test piece. I'm going to start it on DC because that's where it's at for the moment. Place our magnetic yoke on top of the workpiece and there's a small button on the top we'll use to magnetize the part. Once it's magnetized, we'll take our iron filings. You'll notice on the end there's a very small set of holes there, kind of like a salt shaker that'll allow us to sprinkle those iron filings directly onto the part. Let's do it from this side. So you can kind of see there that the iron filings have gathered. Right in the middle in a line. That little line there shows us where the crack is. All those little iron filings gather at that spot. And in fact, and in fact, when you look at the part, we've cut a line on that side where, right where we were testing. So I've now changed it to alternating current. The procedure is the same. Place our yoke on the part. filings. You can see that the filings have gathered at that crack. For the dye penetrant, we're going to start with our cleaning solution. We're going to spray it on a rag, not directly on the part. Spray it on the rag and then wipe the surface that we want to test. We'll give that a second to dry off. But I'm going to check right there because I suspect there will be a crack right at that point. <laughs> we'll take our penetrant, which is the dye, shake it up, read the instructions says to spray on a light layer, thin layer, and then let it dwell for the appropriate dwell times, which is in this case somewhere between 1 and 30 minutes. Okay, so once we've got our dwell time done, we can then clean off the excess. So I'll take the same rag I had, find a clean spot on it, just gently wipe off the excess dye. Once I have the excess dye wiped off, we can take our developer, spray a light coating on that as well, and then let it dry. As it dries, it will pull that dye out from in between a crack or an imperfection. So right here we can actually see a little imperfection quite easily. So we can see that there's a small fracture line there, right from the base of that hole, or that little fillet in there, that's indicating a crack. The last step in 
this non-destructive test, the dipenetrant test, is once again to clean everything off. So I'll use a bit of that same cleaner and I'll just wipe off the part and I'll be ready to go for if I need to use it. Well in this case the part's no good so we'll, we can have it repaired or replaced.